I was invited to play at a nightclub. At a nightclub. Can you imagine that? You see me at a nightclub? The old quiet night up on Belmont Street, across from Cliff Raven's Tattoo Bar. Well, I went up there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon to the quiet night because I was scared. Fought my way past the guard dogs, got up there. The janitor had taken the garbage out. He was in the big hall by himself, just sitting in the, just as under the night, just the night light up on the stage. An older man, he was sitting there playing the Moonlight Sonata beautifully, quietly. He stood in the shadows, he didn't know I was there great shock of white hair standing back on his head, deeply incised lines on his face. I looked closely and saw he was just playing with the one hand, the other was a stump off to about here. Well, he began to pound the piano with the one good hand in a rumbling baritone voice, started to sing Freiheit, Freedom song of the Tileman Brigade during the Spanish Civil War. The war that if we'd gotten involved in it, there might not have been a second world war. He sang Los Cuatro Generales, the Harama Valley, White Cliffs of Gandesa, powerful music of the Spanish Civil War. Well, that was Eddie Belchowski. Eddie Belchowski had been a concert pianist, a brilliant pianist as a young man. But he went to join the Abraham Lincoln Brigade and went to Spain to fight against Franco and the fascists. Crossing the Abro River, he got his arm blown off. Well, they put him in the field hospital on morphine, which turned him into a junkie for the next 30 years of his life. He haunted the alleys of Chicago, a bad poet, a derelict, a drug addict, an alcoholic. He began to put himself back together. He got the job at the quiet night so he could practice the piano. Richard Harding was good about that. And not just to learn the songs of the Civil War, but he learned Haydn's and Liszt's left-hand variations. He could play the Bach Chacon with one hand. It was beautiful. His daughter, Raina, just sent me recordings, tapes that he made for her I've never heard of him playing the whole, whole classical repertoire on the piano with one hand. Chopin, that was his favorite. Well, he taught me powerful things about endurance, about holding on, about holding on. I left Chicago. A week later, I got a call that said Eddie Belchowski had died. So I sat down and I made him up a death song. A week later, I got a call from Eddie. First thing I asked him was, hey Ed, where are you calling from? Well, he said he was calling from Chicago. I said, hell, dead or in Chicago, it's all the same to me, fella. And a week after that, I was back at the quiet night, sitting on a bar stool with Eddie Belchowski himself, sitting across from me. I had a chance to sing him his death song. He was abused. But it was just a while ago that Ed Belchowski, at the age of 74, was found on the subway tracks in Chicago. They just had a museum show of his art and poetry and music and recollections from old comrades all over the country. And, uh, and then they sang his death song. 